Yo, yo, it's your Mad Mouse Mickey, and we're back with another mad video, helping you sort your VR out, specifically your Oculus Rift. Um, so we're going to focus today, we've got Project Cars 2 on, obviously, as you can see, we're doing a full screen capture so you can see what's going on with the graphics card on the left, and you can just about see on the far right hand side of the screen, um, at least I hope you can, what's going on with the CPU. So the CPU we're using is an i7-5820K overclocked to 4.2 gig. The GPU is a GTX 1080 Ti. Beast. Right, and we're going to be looking at the different modes to do with... So you, if you've got an Oculus Rift, if you're in your VR, you'll have seen um, ASW and ATW. So that's asynchronous space warp and asynchronous time warp. Now, by default... These are set um, to be an automatic activation, yeah? Well, this isn't good for us, as you'll see in a minute from the graph on the left, right? The, the automatic activation isn't necessarily good. Um, another thing to bear in mind here, this game usually runs a lot better than what you're going to see now. Because I'm recording and I'm using the video player on Project Cars 2, it's it tends to give you your system a good hit it runs a lot better than it does and i run with higher settings as well but anyway let's jump in and have a look so we'll go to so what we're going to do is we're going to load up a video that i've done here please excuse the driving it is rubbish right we're going to load this video up there's 20 cars on track um and the first thing we're going to so we're going to do the first lap and we're going to run it three times and the first thing we're going to do is is put it into auto it's in automatic mode but as soon as you start up any vr thing it'll be any vr application it will be in automatic mode right right so we can see on the left um I can mouse here. yes i can right so we can see here we've got our frame rate of 45 yeah this is on automatic mode at the moment. And we'll let this lap run and then we'll check out the graph and see what goes on. So this is asynchronous space warp automatic detection. And we'll see in a minute the difference between asynchronous space warp on and asynchronous space warp off. Sorry, I just clobbered the headset. So yeah. yeah like I say, I uh, apologise about the driving. But we can see straight away on the left that the frame rate's sort of bouncing up and down. Yeah. What it'll usually do is go drop down to 45, then back up to 90, but for the most part... We shall have this discussion at the end of the lap. And across the line. Right. Let's just pause that a minute. So, if we go to our FPS counter here now, right, if you can see that mouse cursor, I hope you can. You can see this is our lap here, these up and down bits here. Um, and this, like we say, is in auto detection. So what we're going to do now is we're going to restart it. And we're going to force asynchronous space warp off. So we do that by pressing the left, uh, right control and tapping the one button. And you see straight away the frame rate is going to start rising and it'll, it should stay at an, an average height. Bear in mind here, when you're not recording and you're not using the replay element of this game, it will just be locked at 90 frames a second now on this graphics card. Um, I will do another video about the graphics settings. But you can see now on the right hand side, just as this is going on, this line is just rows and rows and rows. As we've gone through the field, the cars are knocking the frame rate down a little bit. But you can see now, compared to what we had initially, again we'll discuss this at the end of the lap, so you can hear it properly. Do you 
you see the difference now. You can see the difference all the already between automatic and off. Yeah, you can see how much automatic hinders too much. And across the line. Okay. Right, let's pause that. Let's have a look what's just gone on. So, using our little line again here. So this is the first lap here. And we can see how up and down it is. Now this so, and that's automatic detection, as we've discussed. Now this is our, this is the second run. It's the same lap, it's exactly the same replay. No no changes whatsoever. And this is asynchronous space warp off. Now look at the difference in that line. Now I, I, I'll tell you, without the recording, without the, the video player being on, we're hitting 90 frames a second. Clean, it, it, it's locked, it doesn't budge. But what we're looking at here is just the comparison, right? So you can see there's the lap one with it auto. There's lap two. Sorry, that's just dropped down because I clicked on it. There's lap two there with it set to off. So what we'll do now is... Get this back on. Restart the lap and we'll set it to async from space warp on. So the way we do that is we hold left, uh, sorry, right control. Control. We hold right control and tap the two button on your number pad. You must make sure that your number pad or mess around with this because they have different hmm, different results of different games. But the number pad lock should be on when you do this. So it's left control, tap number two. This puts async and a space warp on. So what this does is it gives you a, re a repetitive frame. It locks it at 45 frames a second. And it, it basically throws two frames in there. It sort of takes the frame from before and then zooms it in a little bit. And yeah, I'm not going to go into detail with it, how it works. But I'm not too, I'm not too sure this going at the moment whether you can hear me guys properly. Um, so we'll discuss it at the end of the lap. Let's do that. And across the line. So let's pause it and see what's gone on there. Right, so you can see straight away it's flat line, 45 frames a second. We have no problem with the, the graphic settings we're using at the moment in, in it in 45 frames a second, even recording and using the video player, the in-game video player. Now, I wasn't a big fan of asynchronous space warp, but we, that was because I wasn't using it right. When it's in auto detection mode, it interferes too much. Now, what can happen if you're running a game, like for instance, DCS World is a, is a pain for this. If you try and run 90 frames a second on DCS World, it maxes out your CPU, probably at about 80 frames a second. When it does that, it kicks your frame rate down to about 30 frames a second, right? There's nothing to do with your graphics card at this point. Your CPU just maxed out, tripped out, and everything's dropped down, right? When you just turn asynchronous space warp on and force it to 45 frames a second, you get an unbelievably smooth experience. The CPU is no longer maxed out, and the GPU isn't under massive load. So all your frame times are bang on. Yeah, Every single frame time is bang on, and it gives you a much more smoother experience than what you're getting if you're trying to run with asynchronous space warp on automatic detection. Now, you might have not even know that asynchronous space warp is automatic detection yeah out of the box so this is a video for you bottom line 
Um, now what you can do if you're going to run a asynchronous space warp on and you're going to force it to 45 frames a second you can go mad with your settings and crank everything right up um, I'll show you my settings now on here and I'll tell you what they'd usually be running at for in game like I say for recording purposes it's a bit different um, option oh, bollocks Options. I said I wasn't going to swear. That wasn't swearing. Right, performance. So I've had to turn MSAA down to do this comparison. Otherwise, it was it was tanking the frame rate. But usually, I'm running that on high, no problem. Um, reflections and environmental map. I'm really not too bothered about in VR. I'm too busy concentrating on what's going on around me to notice the reflections. Uh, car detail. Blah blah blah. Enhanced mirror is another thing that's usually on, but I've turned it off just again for this just for this video. Now the reason for motion blur being on was I turned the motion blur on hoping it would help with when you run asynchronous space warp forced on at 45 frames a second, there's inherent blurring that goes on. It's like a, almost a double vision, a very slight double vision. That goes on so I was hoping by putting the motion blur on we could sort of blur out that double vision sort of thing so have a mess around with that try it and there's all your other settings to do settings sorry <laughs> settings to do with the graphics card we've also got yeah 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 um, ball ox again So I've not changed any of those settings for the video. There as is. That's what I run with. And usually in game the 1080 Ti will lap that up. But if you've got your asynchronous space warp set to auto detection again. And there's your first lap there. there your proof's in your pudding here now. There it is there. There's auto detection. Look at how much it's interfering where it shouldn't be. Yeah. Now look at how smooth that frame rate is there. When, when it's just turned off. Remember, that's off. So auto detection is le uh, right control. Left control again. Right control and four on the keypad. But it's automatically on as soon as you put the game on. This section here was with right control and number one on the keypad. So asynchronous space warp off. And this section here was asynchronous space warp on. And that's right control and two on the keypad right control and three on the key keypad does asynchronous time warp don't recommend that one it sort of works it sort of doesn't but there you go um so yeah i hope this has helped you understand the differences and how they affect what's going on with your experience it's a good technology but you really need to choose whether you want it on or you want it off there's no automatic really in my book but um yeah try it out peace out folks happy uh coming into the festive period so be nice to each other take care i'll see you soon with another mad video peace out